G'day. In today's video, I've got an Acer Nitro 5, and I'll be adding another eight gig of DDR4 2666, and also installing a Seagate Fire CUDA, two terabyte. Just for a peek at the RAM, there we go. Now on these ones, it should be relatively straightforward. You flip it over and have a look at the back. Also, here's the exact model number. So as we can see here, AN515-52-75K7. This one is running a, I know it's running a 8750 Intel. But also just to add this extra stuff, it should be pretty straightforward. Over here we have one panel. I'll undo this and flip it up and out. Here we have the hard drive panel. This does have a factory one terabyte in it, which is failing or failed. So take out the screws. There should be four of them, all of which are the same length. And what should we do from here? Pull up, fold over. We have the ribbon cable here. There, this should wiggle back, and we're now free. I'm gonna have to carve this open. Oops, there we go. The screws on this are slightly different, just compared to the first screws we removed. So we'll take these out. As you see, it's a WD Blue, WD 10 SPZX. Don't mind me, just failing that last screw. And this should pop out. Orientation's the same. Put those four screws back in. So the Acer Nitro is the budget Acer gaming machine. After that, there's the Acer Predator, Acer Tri Trident, I believe. So, a few different gaming models, where I believe the Nitro is the cheaper one of the bunch. There we go, we got that installed. Zoom in down here. Should be a matter of lining it up that way. In and back down. Now we've got to put the four smaller screws back in. So once this is physically installed, you will need to go within Windows and where the start icon is, right click on disk management. And from there it should say, give you the option to initiate, initiate a new drive. You will have to do that, otherwise it won't show up in my computer. So that is just something to note. Cover back on. I was quite surprised to see the covers on these, as typically most new machines is coming as a single panel nowadays. If we go over here, we should have a secondary panel, which hopefully will, will reveal a RAM slot or two. Bingo. So as we can see here, we have a single stick in here. Do make sure your machine is completely powered off. Preferably if you could get to it and remove the battery, that would also be recommended. But in this particular model, the battery is under the cover, so I can't actually get to it. But it is switched off. So we have a look here and see what we've got. We will be having some mismatched RAM. So we've got 2400T RAM installed, where we will be putting in some Kingston 2666 megahertz, eight gig of RAM. So in theory, the Kingston will slow itself down to the 2400T speed to match. And then from there, they should both happily get along. And as the added bonus, you should be getting some dual channel performance out of that, which is definitely wanted. And try to extract the maximum amount of speed that you can out of, an old, oh, out of a laptop is the way to go. Typically, performance increases would range from anywhere from about 
or 0%, up to about 20%, depending on application and gain. And to configure the memory, all you need to physically do is install it into the machine. So that is now completed. But from here, I'm gonna to have to boot up to the operating system and initiate this drive, the two terabyte Fire CUDA, to be able to have that running.